With acrid smoke 3,000 feet high, shifting winds are the wild card in these wildfires. In this fire zone, six miles long and six miles wide, flames still stalk subdivisions near Myrtle Beach. We're telling people to, if you can, to move on down the road because this uh, fire is rapidly approaching. Overnight, 30 mile per hour winds and lingering humidity sprayed hot embers onto lawns and homes. In the dead of night, thousands of people along a four mile stretch were startled awake by firefighters and told to get out. Daylight showed dozens of homes in ruins. You know, just having two or three minutes to, to grab what we could and then go out. Um, sorry. The fire jumped the Carolina Bays Parkway, a busy six-lane highway in North Myrtle Beach. The high winds pushed flames toward the intercoastal waterway, which firefighters hope will act as a natural fire break and protect popular vacation spots south in Myrtle Beach. But elsewhere, the flames charged on. Home after home burned to the ground. We'd like to offer our condolences to those uh, family members who've had homes lost. It was also a warning to residents living anywhere near the fire zone. We're all packed with the main ingredients, essentials, uh, in the event that we should have to go and, uh, and unfortunately lose everything. These flames could burn for weeks. Dense vegetation here called Carolina Bays is so lush, so much fuel for a fire, only a sustained heavy rain might put it out. This is Highway 90. With shifting winds, the worry is that the flames could jump this road and menace subdivisions beyond these woods on this side of the road. And right now, the front edge of these fires is just two miles away from the prime Myrtle Beach tourist spots. Katie? Mark Strassman in Conway, South Carolina. Mark, thank you.